Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Now this is a review that even I couldn't wait to do. And what you're looking at now is the camera and the video transmitter from the SkyZone V02 3D FPV system. Now, just to show you what I've got here, this is the camera. As you, obviously it's got two cameras, as you'd expect. This is the transmitter. I'll put two circular wireless uh, skew planar antennas on here. One of the best antennas I could get because I want to get really good quality footage for you so you can see what you'd be looking at if you bought one of these yourself. And uh, let's take a little bit of a look at the install. I'll show you how, how easy that was. Okay, excuse the state of my bench. I said I was gonna tidy up, but I couldn't wait to tidy up. I wanted to get this thing flying. I just wanna see what the world of 3D is like. So here's what we've got. This is the, the video transmitter. It's quite a, it's a reasonably sized video transmitter. Now you notice I've put it on my cine tank. It was gonna be a bit of a pain to put on some of my mini quads because the leads, the cables that come with the video transmitter and the camera are quite long and I didn't wanna cut them. Uh, so I thought, well, I'll put them on a bigger frame. Also, this cine tank, all I had was a simple box uh, FPV backpack on here and a Mobius underneath, so it was really easy to retrofit it to the 3D. And this is all just held on with Velcro because I never crash. Um, and it was simple. There's a, all that comes out of the video transmitter is a power lead, which goes off to your LiPo. In this case, I'm running four cells, but it'll take up to six cell input, which is great. And then you've got this other lead here, which has a very flexible thin cable, but it's about 600, 600 millimeters, quite long cable that goes off to the camera unit down there with the two cameras in it. So couldn't be easier in terms of install, power, and connect the camera to this box. And away you go, that's a, that's a breeze, it's simple. Now, um, they do provide you with the crappy old, you know, rubber ducky type antennas, which I immediately throw out. I mean, that's a complete waste of time. I don't know why people continue to, or companies continue to ship with those because man, no one's gonna use them, seriously. But hey, um, I, I thought, should I test it with those antennas? And I thought, no, because all we're gonna get is substandard results. So let's just do it as it should be. Um, apart from that, the Cine tank, you know, we've seen it, I've done a review on it, I really like it. I haven't flown it much recently because the mini quads have been so exciting, but it's like a giant mini quad. It's got uh, a clean duty section and the FPV gear is mounted on the clean section, so it should be a nice smooth ride. Now I mentioned before that BMS Web have done a pretty good overview of the system, they've weighed it and they show you the bits and pieces, the ins and outs. They even go through their goggles here and they'll show you, you know, the menus and things. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go over that. I wanna provide a point of difference with my review and that is, what does it look like? So. At this stage, I guess there's not a lot else to do but take this machine out and fly. Okay, so we're at the park, we're cutting to the chase. Let's just do some flying with this thing, see how it works. What I've got set up here to record the 3D video are two DVRs. These are the two DVRs I've previously reviewed. So one's going to be recording the right-hand channel, one's going to be recording the left-hand channel. I'm, through the magic of computer work, I'm going to meld them together into a 3D video that you should be able to see on YouTube at a, little bit, a little later on in this video. So. Um, over here, I have the cine tank, which has got the stereoscopic camera on the front here, and video transmitter, uh, nice, clean, easy install, and I've got the 3D glasses. I haven't, I'm not using circularly polarized antennas because I haven't had time to make some, so we're going linear on the glasses. And what I'm going to do is have a quick fly around now. First of all, I'll get the LCDs synchronized, and then I'll do some flying around. And what you see next in this video should be what I was looking at through these glasses. Hi there, excuse the crappy lighting and everything, I'm in my little home office, the audio is bad as well. I've been trying to render up these 3D video clips and unfortunately all the DVRs I'm using have got different frame rates. One's 25, one's 24.945, the other one's 25.035 uh, and of course Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio Pro Platinum um, only allows you to create 3D clips with when the frame rates are exactly the same. Oh, so I've had to do a workaround. Now, when you look at the 3D footage on here, you'll see that there are two images side by side. When you look at those images, you can do it one of two ways. You can cross your eyes to create a third composite image in the middle, or you can relax your eyes. It takes a bit more training, a bit more practice. Relax your eyes so that the images actually sort of um, spread apart and you end up with your left eye looking at the left image and your right eye looking at the right image. And when you do that, it's actually a very easy way to watch 3D footage, stereoscopic footage like this. So, if the images don't seem to come together, try the different options, do a Google, find out all about these things. If you've got a 3D viewer, some glasses, you can use those. Not the coloured ones, but the ones that are prismatic and basically um, enable you to look at two separate images with your two separate eyes. Try those. Um, but anyway, play around. I'm sure that if you persist long enough, you'll be able to see in 3D what I saw through the FPV uh, Sky Zone glasses provided by FPV model. So there we go. Here comes the footage. Enjoy.
Okay, so that experience was very interesting. It is really, really tricky to get the IPD set. And it takes, with old eyes like mine, it takes a few minutes to actually lock in so that everything looks good. If you don't have the IPDs exactly right, then stuff in the distance can appear a bit doubled. And if you have it too far the other way, stuff in the front is doubled. So once you get dialed in, it's actually really good. It's a really nice effect and it certainly adds a bit of extra, extra perspective to the, the flying thing. It's much easier to fly close. Flying alongside trees, as I did in that video, you can actually really get the 3D effect. It is a very nice sensation. Now, the 3D, will I use it in mini quads? Probably not, because it's a little bit bulky and heavy, and maybe if, you know, I don't want to commit something that valuable to the mini quads, but what I may do is set up my own stereo system on the mini quads using the little tiny 600 TV line cameras and two 7 gram transmitters. We'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, um, after the first flight, I have to say that I'm really quite impressed with these. I've been impressed with the version 1s, and the version 2s have got a lot of valuable extra features. Actually, I'll just stop recording because I've recorded it on the DVR in here as well. So I guess everyone's going to say, you know, would I recommend it? Well, yeah, the value is actually pretty good. They're expensive, but you're getting the video transmitter, which has got two video transmitters in it. You're getting a stereoscopic camera, which is two cameras. Um, you're getting the goggles, which are good high resolution goggles with a built in DVR, which work in 3D mode or diversity. So yeah, I'm afraid I'd have to say there's really not much on the market to match these. These are pretty impressive, pretty impressive indeed. And um, I'd have to give them a thumbs up, but stay tuned because I will be doing a follow up on this. I'm going to look at the technical aspects of these glasses and the video transmitter because it draws quite a bit of power. Let's see what effect it will have on your other equipment because also we'll look at the emissions. Some of those cameras, they may put a lot of noise out on UHF. I don't know. I'll check it out. We'll find out in the meantime. Brilliant. Now it's time for me to pack up and go back to the bench.